My name is Lucy McGrath and I'm a paper marbler. Marbling is an endangered craft in the UK. So I started my business, Marmor Papery, in 2015 with the intention of helping to cement marbling's place in the future. So what is marbling? Essentially, I spend my days flicking paint into a tray of water. The water is thickened with a seaweed called carrageen, which is the magic ingredient that makes the paint float instead of combining with the water and making a kind of brown puddle. The strong surface tension of this thickened water means that the paint spreads out in extremely satisfying circles on the surface. Each new layer of paint I add then pushes the previous layers back into veins, which can look a bit like marble, hence the name. Sometimes I stop there and take a print. You get a lovely naturalistic stone-like effect. I like to use gold in the veins to add a bit of shimmer. But you can carry on and use tools to make patterns in the marbling water, or size as it's known in the marbling world. You can draw into the size with a skewer, and because it's so gloopy, it freezes the path you make, forming these beautiful, elegant swirls and arabesques. Over the centuries, specific patterns were given names. There's the feather, and the old Turkish pattern, the gitgel or zigzag. You can use tools such as combs or rakes to make increasingly more complex patterns, like the nonpareil, a traditional French pattern with these scalloped bands of colour, or the French curl, which has very delicate little spirals drawn into it. Very French. The hard part can be knowing when to stop, but when I'm finally happy with my pattern, I carefully lay a piece of paper down onto my side to pick up that floating layer of paint, and I peel it up again straight away. And that's it! The marble paper has been created! It just needs a final rinse to get rid of any bits of gloop, and then I'll hang it to dry for an hour or so. I mostly make notebooks and stationery for my marbled papers. Bookbinding has been so closely linked to marbling. For hundreds of years, marble papers were used to decorate the covers or end papers of fine bindings. But I try to update the tradition a bit with my expressive patterns in bright contemporary colours. But marbling can be applied to any porous surface. Fabric, wood, or even ceramics, like my Christmas walls. There is so much potential for the future of marbling and collaborations with other disciplines. I can't wait to see how the craft develops.